Who am I kidding? Oh my god. Hey guys. Hey guys, and welcome back or to my channel. And today I am going to take you with me on a journey. Get my chemo. <laughs> Chemotherapy is obviously part of my treatment against my cancer and I've watched movies like Breaking Bad and uh, movies like Breaking Bad, TV shows like Breaking Bad and um, also other shows, cancer has just been really weirdly represented in them I feel like and the side effects of what happens and just the whole entire experience as a whole so i thought i would just make a video taking you along with me get the chemo and then like explain the effects of after so i have a great clip from um ted ed that i'm going to put in the next part of the video but um i'm not gonna use the whole thing obviously i'm just gonna use this tiny clip and um if you want to watch the whole video it's a great video it just it teaches you like the entirety of what chemotherapy is if you're confused about what it is if you're like never like you know it's a treatment you know it's a medicine but you don't know how it works you want to figure that information out it is um just check out that link right there in the description so anyways and also don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps me a lot yeah Researchers in the 1930s investigated this idea by injecting compounds derived from mustard gas into the veins of cancer patients. It took time and trial and error to find treatments that did more good than harm. But by the end of World War II, they discovered what became known as the first chemotherapy drugs. Hey guys, it is 6.40 a.m. We had to get to the hospital um, a little bit early because they told us that the line was going to be really long today. Even though um, I'm not allowed to eat or drink anything after 12. Ma! Even though I'm not allowed to eat or drink anything after 12, I do have a little bit of water with my meds. Did you brush your teeth? Not all chemos are the same. So part of my chemo is this spinal tap, which I have to go under anesthesia for. And my mom has to rub lidocaine cream on my back before we head out. And it's just like a numbing agent. Okay, and now we head to the hospital. I forgot to mention, but a week before you go get chemo, you have to get your blood work done to make sure your levels are high enough so that you qualify for chemo. And by levels, I mean, you know, different markers in the blood, like your liver enzyme level or your, you know, research it. Okay, we parked and I have allergies really bad. Okay, so here is where I get my port accessed, and they spray this freezy spray on it. It makes my skin really cold, so I can't feel whenever they put the needle in. And once they put the needle in, they'll push some saline, which is just like salt water, to um, 
you know, flush out the line, and then they'll pull back to get the blood out. Ooh, nasty. Um, and then after that, they'll hook me up to some chemotherapy with saline still running to, like, dilute it. I don't really know. I think that that's the purpose. Just a hypothesis. Then after, the nurse will set up the dressing because whenever you have your port accessed for a long period of time or an extended amount of time, longer than like 10 minutes probably, they need to put a um, um, covering over it, you know, to keep it safe from all the germs. Don't want to get an infection, you know. So then right here, she's going to be taking my labs which basically, um, we're just, right before I get the chemo, they just want to make sure that everything's okay just one last time, so they will extract them in the little vac vacuum sucky tube thingies. <laughs> so she'll hook me up to the sodium chloride, which is just saline, um, and then she'll get the chemo and they run at the same time. So my first chemo is this tiny bag of Vincristine, and Vincristine is uh, quite the fun one because it makes you pee orange for like a few days. <laughs> then after, um, they will give me the red chemo, and obviously it's red. So um, the red chemo... Like its name suggests, well, right after you get it, you will pee red, but like, not for like Vincristine. Vincristine will make you pee orange for like a few days, but after you get the red chemo, you'll just um, pee red once. Then uh, we'll get ready to go in for my lumbar puncture, and this is after my lumbar puncture. <laughs> um, they will sedate me, and with a needle full of chemotherapy that will inject it into my spine and yeah and after my chemo um i had some chipotle actually which i usually don't do because so <laughs> they gave me steroids and um the steroids just help like to keep you not inflamed and they will make you very very hungry as you can tell and then you have to take um chemo pills for the next five days Okay, so, obviously everybody's bodies are different, so not everyone processes chemo the same, and not everyone will have the same experience as me, and not everyone will feel the same as me, or feel the same effects that I do, so that's just a disclaimer. So I have a lot of people asking me, like, does it hurt while you're getting chemo, like, while it is getting pumped into your veins? And the answer is, no, you don't feel anything whenever you're getting, like, you feel the same before as you did right after you, um initially get the chemo at least at least for me but I think that for most people it's the same um and the effects will like most likely occur after a few days um at least that's for me for me personally I will get like really nauseous and really tired really fatigued a few days after I get my chemo and um but yeah just in the moment you do not feel the chemo like you don't feel any different than you did before you went in and after you go out whenever you initially get it um like i said before getting the red chemo will make you pee red right after but it won't make you pee red um for the next like few days like vincustrian will mess you up because it'll make you pee orange for the next few days after you get it and it'll also be <laughs> constipated and um it will Make you think you're dehydrated, but you're drinking a lot of water and your pee's still orange. It's just because of the vincristine. 
since I had to go under for my lumbar puncture, obviously for the next day I feel kind of groggy because of the anesthesia. Um, but after that, I'm not groggy. I'm, I will get sick for um, like a week maybe after getting chemo because then I'll get mouth sores and um, you know sores in the back of my throat. The cells in your mouth are rapidly reproducing, so you will get sores in your mouth. And you'll get tired, you'll feel nauseous, but they give you steroids and steroids make you hungry. So it's kind of a weird sensation to be really hungry and not able to eat because you're too nauseous. And at least for me, I'll get really nauseous, but I can't throw up. It's like the worst feeling. To me, that, to me that's the worst feeling. Feeling really nauseous and not being able to throw up. Like I just want to throw up, but I'm too, like, I can't. I'm nauseous and I have this sensation of like I need to throw up, but I can't throw up. And it's like, it's the worst. Let me tell you, it's the worst. Um, and you want to make sure to stay inside and stay out of the sun and stay away from people because um, you're really susceptible to everything after you get chemo. It's like your immune system goes down by a lot. Um, and the intravenous chemo um, is probably the hardest hit or the spinal tap. But once I get to home, I have to take... Um, Mercaptopurine, it's a pill chemo, um, and I'll take it by mouth um, every night, seven pills. And that doesn't really hit me as hard as the other ones, but um, I don't get as many as effects. So they'll send you home with um, medication to treat the side effects of chemo, like they'll send you home with the Ciclovir to help with your mouth sores, they'll send you home with, um, they'll send you home with different things to, um, you know, prevent constipation and stuff like that. And, and also, I so okay so me personally i get moody um i'll get really bad headaches after i get chemo i um really irritable you know um i will eat a lot <laughs> or eat nothing because the steroids make me really hungry but then once i get my anti-nausea medication because i'm supposed to be taken after i get chemo i the can go eat so the steroids make me really hungry and eat a lot um yeah but other than that i think i've covered pretty well going to the hospital what happens after you know if you're not ready make sure to like comment down below um your experience if you are a person experiencing cancer and if it's um worse for you to get chemo if it feels better for you or just i want to know and let me know what my next video should be give me suggestions i mean i'm interested i read all the comments so just comment whatever thank you once again for watching the whole video and i love you bye